In this video, we're going to be using the cash flow worksheet on the TI-83 or TI-84 financial calculators. In our example, we're offered an investment that will pay $2,000 per year for the next three years and $4,000 per year for the five years after that. Assuming you want to earn a 7% rate of return, how much would you be willing to pay? So, if we want to do this in a timeline, we've got a total of eight years. In the first three years, we're going to be getting 2000 per year. And then the next five years, we're going to get 4000 per year. Our rate of return on this investment is 7%. So this is what our timeline looks like. 2000 per year for three years, 4000 per year for five years. We want to find out what that's worth today, what the present value is for that. Now when we're solving for the present value of an uneven cash flow stream, we're actually using something called the net present value are NPV. So we're going to get to our calculator. First thing we want to do is go to the apps. Again, we want to choose the finance. And now we're going to scroll down until we get to that net present value. So we select that net present value. And when we're entering net present value on the TI-83, what we want to think of is our NPV is first the interest rate, that's 7%, then the CF0. Now notice we don't have a CF0 in this case. There's no cash flow in year zero. So we just zero that out. And next we have the cash flows. Now, in the TI-83 and TI-84, when you enter cash flows, use the little, what I call, squiggly bracket, and then you put in the unique cash flows. We start with 2,000, and then we have 4,000. So we have our first cash flow sequence of 2,000, and our next cash flow sequence is 4,000. And we close that out with a little squiggly bracket, comma, now we want to put in the frequencies. How many times in a row do we have each of these cash flow sequences? The 2,000 is 2,000 per year for three years, and then it's 4,000 per year for five years. So our frequency is three and five. Now we've got everything set up, so we can now just solve. So net present value, interest rate, CF0, which in this case is zero. Cash flow sequences. First sequence is 2,000. Next sequence is 4,000. And frequencies, three, five, solve. So in our financial calculator, we had gotten into that net present value mode. So now we put in the seven then your comma button right here. Now we want to put in the CF0, which is zero, comma. And next we want these little squiggly brackets. Now, kind of hard to see on here, but on these squiggly brackets, it's a yellow shift. So we have to press the yellow shift button and then that squiggly bracket. Now we're going to put in our cash flow sequence. 2000 was our first cash flow stream comma and then our next cash flow stream was 4000. Now we want to close that out. So we have our closing squiggly bracket, comma. Now we want to put in the frequencies. And the frequencies were 3 and 5. Go 
and close our little squiggly bracket. And now remember the solve is the green, so we've got to do the green shift, solve, and we get our net present value of $18,000. $636.56. And that's all there is to using the cash flow worksheet on the TI-83 or TI-84. Our next example is going to be another cash flow worksheet problem. But now instead of solving for a net present value, what it's worth today, we're going to be solving for an internal rate of return. You're offered an investment that will pay you $1,000 one year from today, $2,000 two years from today, $3,000 per year for the following three years, and we can purchase this investment for $6,500. What rate of return are we anticipating? Again, it's an uneven cash flow stream, so we need to set that up. First thing we want to do is just visualize our timeline. Now you don't have to draw these timelines out if you don't want to. I'm just doing them for the video examples. But this just helps us see what we're, what's happening. We're spending $6,500 today. That's up front. Then in year one, we're going to get $1,000. In year two, we're going to get $2,000. In year three, we're going to get 3,000. Year four, we're going to get another 3,000. And finally, in year five, we're going to get our last 3,000. And now we're trying to figure out what rate of return this is that we're earning. And that's going to be called the internal rate of return on this investment. We're going to see that again when we get into our capital budgeting chapter. In our financial calculator, what we want to do is again go back to the applications, go to that finance apps, scroll down, and now we want that internal rate of return. So just internal rate of return, press your enter button. Now the internal rate of return on the TI-83 is set up with your CF0 first. That's going to be negative 6,500. We've got to have that negative sign because it's a cash outflow. Then we're going to have the squiggly bracket and our cash flow sequences. Our first cash flow is 1,000. Our next cash flow is 2,000. And our third cash flow was 3000 so that covers all our cash flow sequences close that up with squiggly bracket comma and now we want our frequencies frequency of one one and three close those up with our squiggly bracket and then we just want to solve for that internal rate of return now remember the 6500 has to be a cash outflow so you want to use that negative sign down there make it negative 6500 then comma now we want to go to our squiggly bracket put in our cash flow sequence 1000, 2000, 3000 close that cash flow sequence and now put in the frequencies our frequencies are 1, 1 and 3 so plug those values in close out the little squiggly brackets now we've got everything entered we just want to solve Green shift, solve, and we get our answer, an internal rate of return of 20.65%. That's all there is to internal rate of return.